What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. Kurt, so he has a camper that I've never seen before. So go ahead and just geek out on it. Tell me what you got, man. So I'm Kurt with Backwoods Camper Co. Uh, this is a SUV camper that I built. Um, it only weighs 500 pounds. It'll fit on any SUV with a trailer hitch and a roof rack. Let's uh, let's stand back and show them over here. Yeah. Because I don't think they can actually get the whole, yeah. you know, <laughs> idea of what's going on here. Look at this. On a two-door Jeep. <laughs> it's a two-door Jeep with a, a camper on the back. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. So I've had the idea for over 20 years and uh -huh. I just finally got up the nerve to just build it and see if it, was, see if it worked or not. Yeah. And it works pretty good. We've driven it over 3,000 miles. Wow. Um, on, off-road. Uh, spent. We've, we've done four-day trips in it. Um, no problem with my daughter. So there's three of us mm -hmm. and all of our gear. And uh, yeah, I mean, it works pretty good. It's got a king-size bed in there. That's crazy that there's a king-size bed on top. So... <laughs> the bare bones of this you have to have i'm assuming you have to have this right yeah you just have to have a roof rack that can support 300 pounds oh, okay or more and then a receiver hitch and a receiver hitch and then the frame is all aluminum yeah. is so it? it doesn't even have a frame it's built out of structural panels oh foam core fiberglass structural panels okay and that's how we got the weight down so much uh -huh. And then it just has this, this aluminum on the on the corners, the edges, yeah. to protect against branches and stuff and seal up the edges. And then that, those are rivets, and I'm assuming yeah. there's some kind of automotive glue in there yep. or something? Yep, it's, it's glued on and then riveted on into the fiberglass. How many miles does this specific camper have on it? You said 3,000? Yeah. So it's been shaken off-road. Looks yep. pretty good, man. Yeah, we've, we've taken it uh. on some pretty rough trails surprisingly rough trails and it's held up pretty I big. would assume the suspension had to be beefed up a little bit right yeah yeah so we just put airbags in the rear in oh the okay that makes a big difference with the airbags yeah because the yeah. stock jeep suspension so soft you know you put a cooler in the back <laughs> and it bottoms out so yeah we put airbags and uh and it yeah it rides nice it drives good we can do 80 miles an hour down the freeway no problem nice. 80 miles in this thing, wow. <laughs> yeah. Woo, man. That's about as fast as you really want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In any Jeep, really. Yeah. You know? I'm, I'm in a travel trailer right now, and I'm, I'm barely doing 65. Right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, only because I'm, I'm nervous, that's right. why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right on. So, so what's this, what am I looking, this is obviously a jack. Yeah, so yeah. These, it has camper jacks. There's one on either side, and then this extendable foot. So you can unload it in about 10 minutes. Oh. Set it all the way down. So it comes out like... Yeah, this a long leg. Out. I see. So it's really stable. Yeah. yeah. So that goes up to there. You can jack it up. And then there'll be a swing down. I haven't put it on this camper yet, um, but there'll be a swing down leg that comes down and pins onto this when it's all the way down so you can camp in it when it's on the ground. That's cool. And then basically like a truck camper, you can take off in the Jeep and have fun. Exactly. And then come back. Yep. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. All right, uh, anything to look at in the front before we go inside? So it's pretty traditional as far as like a truck camper goes. It's almost kind of like the same design, right? Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. went with something simple that I could build, you know, because yeah. I built this whole thing myself. And uh, it turned out, you know, it turned out pretty good. I like the way it looks, so we just yeah. kept it for the production models too. And then um, on this side here, you got an awning. Yeah. yeah pretty simple. Have a fold down table on that back section there by that jack there's going to be a table that folds down you can set your barbecue there or whatever nice i'm assuming you don't have to winterize this at all because there's no tanks yeah there's no plumbing <laughs> or anything in yeah. very simple very nice. low maintenance cool and there's no wood really other than the cabinets in there there's yeah no wood to rock you know, there's no wood frame or anything nice like nice so take me uh, on a tour yeah. on the inside let's take a look at the uh where the magic happens <laughs> yeah yeah you want to just go ahead and climb in there sure so we got these steps obviously yep. that... and they fold up and then also if you were going to do some more hardcore wheeling you can just pull this pin and take the steps out take them but if you're just going to go down the road you, know, you can flip that up like that gotcha cool we got a nice little grab handle here like you'd see on a truck camper mm -hmm. and he was telling me that this thing actually is only three feet off the back yeah Cool. Yep, it's six feet wide and it only sticks out three feet off the back of the Jeep. So uh, I'm currently sitting on where the uh, toilet would be. Now that's yep. pretty important. 
All right. Yeah, Thetford. Oh, I see a battery as well. Yep. That runs your lights, I'm assuming. Right? Yeah, all LED lights in here. Cool. Know. And it charges off the Jeep when the Jeep's running. Oh, okay. So you don't even you don't even have solar panels? No, I want to put solar panels. Uh -huh. on, I just haven't done it yet. Yeah. And then uh, cooler, any cooler for the most part can fit in there, looks yeah. like. Yeah, anything will fit in that. It's a pretty big space there, mm -hmm. so yeah, there should be plenty of room. And this is designed just for like a cooktop, yep. I'm assuming? You could, you, could, you could prepare your meals here, cook them outside, whatever you want to do, or you can mm -hmm. put a portable cook stove right there. Mm -hmm. Then you got some overhead storage up there. You got a little ladder to get up in the bed. Yep. And there is your king size. You said king size, king right? King size. It's a California king, actually. <laughs> that is a king it just, size bed. just happened to be the exact right size to fit up there. So. I guarantee you guys have never seen a king size bed on a two-door Jeep before. <laughs> this is the first. <laughs> guarantee it, man. That's nuts. Uh, so up here, it looks like it's pretty comfy. I mean, uh, you got pretty good room to roll around in there. Yeah, two two can, people and a dog, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can, I can almost sit up. Yeah, my head. that's actually pretty tall. I see some uh, lights up there. Yeah. You got two windows for cross breeze ventilation. Yeah, exactly. And then what is that? Like a, almost like an escape hatch. It is ex escape hatch. Yeah. And roof bit. yeah. Very cool. Simple, effective, and the biggest thing though was how much does this cost? Uh, fifteen thousand five hundred. Fifteen thousand. That's that's pretty affordable. Yeah. Uh, I was just talking to somebody else the other day. And all these travel trailers and teardrops, you know, they're thirty thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I wanted to keep it affordable. You know, mm -hmm. I want to get them out there. So nice. And you said this was the very first one, right? The prototype. This is my second prototype. Oh, prototype two point Yep. This is my second prototype I built. The first one was all wood, mm -hmm. and it had a bathroom and a kitchen, full kitchen and everything. Super heavy. Yeah, it was nine hundred pounds. <laughs> wow. And we drove it a lot too, and uh, yeah. It drove okay, but yeah. um, t for it to be legal, you know, to be able to sell them, they got to be under the weight limit. Oh, yeah. The Jeep yeah. has a thousand pound payload capacity. Yeah. And so this is 500 pounds. So, I mean, you know, you got to be conscious about what you're putting in here. Yeah, yeah. But it's, you know, just just like it is here. And then, you know, you have a cooler in there just with your mm -hmm. minimum essentials. And It's like a cabin on wheels, really, is <laughs> yeah. what it is. That's cool. All right, so you said you have a company that's building these for you? Yeah, yeah. So um, they manufacture them for us, and once they get up and running, they're going to be able to really crank them out. Uh, mm -hmm. They've only built the first one so far, which it, it'll be completely finished out uh, this week probably. Mm -hmm. So after that, um, we get rolling. They might be able to build a shell every day. Wow. And then we have to finish out the interiors, but mm -hmm. we're thinking we can probably build one of these. Nice. And where are you located at? Uh, Estacada, Oregon, which is just outside of Portland. Okay, not too far right. yeah, from here. Yeah. Right on. Head Pacific Northwest. You're based out of the Pacific Northwest. That's nice. Yep. Right on. So if guys wanted to just come and check this out, is, is, could they come by and see one? Sure. Yeah. 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 This is always at our place out there in Estacada, so they can come check this out. Nice. Um, we're going to start going to more events and stuff cool. with it, and hopefully we'll have the production model here soon so we can nice here in the next week so that we can because it looks really nice you know this one's all i built all this by yeah, hand it's a prototype yeah 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 mm -hmm. so uh, that will be done here and they can mm -hmm. check that out and they can check us out on facebook and instagram backwards. what what is your actual facebook and instagram accounts uh it's backwoods camper co oh they're right there yeah backwoods camper co and then also backwoods camper co.com do mm -hmm. you guys have a YouTube channel as well? We have a YouTube channel. Too. Okay, you can check out builds and stuff like that. Yeah, there's only a couple videos on there right oh, okay. now. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we're working on making some more. So. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's Backwoods Camper Co., a little tiny truck camper on a Jeep. You know, I know someone's going to ask me, are you going to make these for four-door Jeeps too? Yeah. So this camper actually would fit on a four-door. Oh, it would. It'll fit on a Toyota 4Runner, FJ, oh. any SUV with a roof rack and a trailer hitch. Oh, there you go, guys. See, I'm trying to ask the good questions here. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, check them out. Backwoods Camper Co. Very cool.